gentlemen, and uh, my name is Anna Vizikova. <laughs> The third um, point that I would like to talk about is the fluidity of movement. And the reason why is this is the third point, because lots of people would say, oh, actually the fluidity of movement, that's what makes dancing dancing, and it should be first. <laughs> but without good posture and without right uh, footwork and good balance, I would say it's quite impossible. And these tips that I'm talking about today, they're not only um, should be helpful for uh, pre-am students necessarily, but actually for professional dancers as well. Although very simple, very little, but it's a, I hope it's a helpful reminder of things that how you build the, uh, the fluidity, how you move on with the movement. In fact, every time I used to come to dance studio for practice myself, the first thing I would find my posture, the second thing I would find my balance standing and in the movement and then I would try to do simple walks or simple movements but already uh, trying to produce the fluidity of movement. Uh, this is probably the trickiest part for the pro-am dancers, for pro-am students. Uh, the reason for this is because um, dancing versus stepping. So I can know my uh, routine, I can know my steps. Let's say if I'm talking about basic steps, so I know that the check walk, I know how I move, but a lot of people uh, just think that it's enough to step the steps. And then the same beautiful hold, I have good question, then I do some arm movement, therefore I'm dancing. Um, this is not necessarily the case. I think the most difficult part is the coordination of all the movements, is uh, footwork, is the transition from one leg to another. It's the spine movement. And I would say that the arms movement is probably the very last uh, moment that I would think creates the fluidity of dancing. And lots of people, they start uh, with their arms and completely neglect their coordination from foot to the body. And um, the only one more addition that I would like to make to our conversation is um, I would like to mention the rotations. I will not dis uh, discuss or describe in the full uh, the technique of different rotations such as three-step turns or the spiral turns. Uh, what I would say is the common for all rotations, which is usually neglected, is the first principle of rotations. Very simple, <laughs> you're gonna smile now, but so many people miss doing this. It's actually getting up <laughs> for the rotation. Getting up on the balls of the foot and getting your center high, lifting your center up and getting yourself up. Because so many ladies try to do the rotations actually standing on complete flat feet, which is not very helpful. So um, as a general rule, if in my rot uh, routine in any dance the rotation come up, the first thing I'm thinking is I collect my center and I elevate myself so I'm actually coming up on the ball of the foot. And only after the rotation, I land. So, um, ladies, when any rotation comes, the spiral turn, the any kind of turn, what you should be thinking about, that I'm elevating myself, I'm collecting my center, and I'm lifting myself up. Let's do balance. <laughs>